Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I am back with four brand new Easter DIYs for you today. I've never done any of these on my channel before and I think they turned out absolutely adorable. So let's get into it. These are super simple. So we're going to start out with some of my beads. I'm just going through my jar trying to find the colors that I want so that I don't have to dye or paint them. And I knew I had some pink ones and some white ones stashed in here somewhere. So you see me digging those out. And then, of course, I used some of my MDF that I love to cut up and made some little bunny ears and poked a hole through the ears using my awl that you see right there. I have one of the Dollar Tree welcome signs with the little bunny on it. And you guys, super, super simple. Like I said, usually I take a Dollar Tree sign and I turn it into completely something different. But this sign was so cute. I just really didn't want to do a whole lot to it, but I wanted to make it mine. I had to, you know, just elevate it a little bit. We'll say that. We just elevated it a little bit, but I love how this turned out. So I have some juke cord. I've got a scrap piece of craft paper that I used on a different project, had some left, and I have some ribbon. I've got some bunny ribbon that I'm going to be using. And I think that came from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take that egg off of there. You can leave it if you want. I'm telling you, the sign is absolutely adorable, but I just want to make it a little bit more adorable. So I'm going to change that egg up a little bit and put it on or put craft paper on it because I love the pink that's in this craft paper. And I think it picks up well with that pink in the sign. So that's why I'm doing it but you could definitely leave the egg on there the way it is. So I'm just going to take my jumbo glue stick from Dollar Tree and we are just going to adhere this paper to the egg. Just smoothing it down, making sure I get a good stick. I want this to stay on here and not lift up. I'll go around it with my gator sander and smooth down those edges once it dries so they're nice and crisp. Now I'm going to take my two ears that I made and I'm going to be using my white paint. This is just an acrylic paint ceram coat. I think it's by Delta maybe. This is super old paint you guys so I, I really don't know where I got it or who it's by. I've had this paint I'm not even kidding, at least, and I'm surprised it still, you know, is usable, at least 10 years. I mean, does paint even last that long? Apparently it does. <laughs> this paint is old. So anyway, I'm just going to paint the ears white. Then I took my pencil and I just drew the little inside part of the ear. And now I'm going to paint that pink. And it is my Waverly Ballet Slipper. You see me mixing it up because I did put a little bit of white in it just to lighten it a little bit more. And I'm not being super neat with this because I want that rustic charm. And so you'll see when you see the reveal that you can see the white paint going around it. Um, I think I sanded it a little bit just to make it look just farmhouse. I love farmhouse, so that's why I'm doing it this way. You guys can do yours however you like. This is just inspiration to get you going for Easter. And here you see the sign that I said was just adorable as it was. I'm going to put that egg back on there on the side that I laid my craft paper so we can see that. And that looks so much better than that blue to me. I don't know why. I just love that paper for this sign. And you see you have the two holes at the top of the sign. I just took the jute cord out of there, but I'm going to use that jute cord or either some of mine. Nope, I'm going to use the jute cord the sign came with. And we're just going to put it right back through the holes and also through the holes of the ears. I'm going to use that jute cord to attach these ears down. I'm going to be using some hot glue and my staple gun. So these ears are not going anywhere. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video today. I absolutely love having you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my brand new subscribers. Thank you for choosing these Cute and Crafty. And to all my returning subscribers, 
Big hugs, big kisses. I love you guys so much. Thank you. So we're just going to get these ears tied on, glued on, and stapled. I'm threading my beads on now before I attach that second ear. And you guys, you almost can't even really see the beads, but it's going to be a cute hanger. Maybe if I had hung it from the front, but I didn't want them to be in the way of the bow or the ears. So I hung it in the back. So actually, I probably could have just used jute and saved my beads, but I used them. And now I'm going to make a bow after I tie off this jute and cut off the excess. I'm going to make a bow for the bunny ears. And in this video, I do have a bow tutorial. Um, a sweet family member asked me if I could make a bow in real time and, you know, slow everything down. So I did. My bows are super easy, you guys. I promise you. It's, it's not rocket science. I make the simplest, easiest bow that I can because I don't think that... I'm a, a whiz at making bows, so I choose the easiest way to do it and just try to be really good at doing it that way. So here it's sped up a little bit, but I do have um, in this video me making a bow in real time. So if you want to know how I do my bows, if you want to see me slow it down, just keep watching. And if you want to know which one is my favorite of the four that I'm showing you today, again, you got to keep watching. Is this one my favorite? Nope, it is not. Hard to choose. This one almost was, but it's not. So I just make my loops and I try to double up my ribbon. Sometimes I don't because it can be too much. Um, so wherever I feel like I want to double my ribbon up, I do. And if I feel like just a single bow is fine, then I don't double it up. And then I stack my loops. And if I have um, pieces that I've dovetailed, I go ahead and put those behind the bow, behind the loops. And I pinch everything together and tie it off with jute cord. That is it. It does not get any easier than that for me. I'm going to put two holes using my awl in one of the bunny ears so that I can tie my bow onto this sign. I love doing it that way because I can reuse my bows. If I don't put a lot of glue on them and I just tie them onto my DIYs, I can untie them or cut them loose and use them on anything else that I want to use them for. And sometimes the ribbon is so pretty and you can't find it again next season and you want that ribbon, you don't have to waste that bow. You can just untie it or cut it loose and use it again. Just adding a dab of glue to the end of the jute cord. Please be careful if you do it this way so you don't get burned, but I want it to stiffen that cord up so it would be easier to thread through the holes. And you guys, this one's done. Absolutely adorable. I 
And here's DIY number one, all done. Again, you guys, it came out super cute. I didn't have to do a lot to it. Sometimes the Dollar Tree signs are really pretty on their own. You just got to add a little something to it. And that's all I wanted to do. Just, you know, give it a little bit of a, a facelift. And I love how it came out. I usually am not a fan of the glitter, but I left the glitter on the welcome because that little bit of glitter in the bow just picked up that that glitter on the welcome so nice. It, it didn't seem to be overpowering. Usually the glitter signs from Dollar Tree are overpowering, but this one, not so much. It's really cute. Moving on to DIY number two, I'm going to be using my bunny ribbon that you've seen me use before. I have some jute twine, some boxwood greenery from Dollar Tree. Nope, that's from Walmart. And various um, orange flowers from everywhere. And one of these large wooden Dollar Tree carrots, I have my apple barrel and jack-o'-lantern and my apple barrel in the green. And I'm not sure which green that is. Hmm. It might be green leaf. Not sure. So I just took the jute twine off of the carrot and then I painted it in the orange and in that green. And I have um, this boxwood greenery from Walmart. And I'm just going to start hot gluing it to the top of the carrot because I want it to have dimension. I want it to have that greenery on there. It just adds to it. It gives it such a nice look. And then I have all of these flowers. They're from Walmart, they're from Hobby Lobby, they're from Joann's, they're from Dollar Tree. I went through my stash of fall flowers and pulled out everything orange that I had. And I'm just going to start giving this wooden carrot some dimension by adding my flowers. Of course, I painted it first, just in case anything showed through, you wouldn't be able to tell. So that's why I painted, you know, the orange on the bottom and the green on the top. Makes sense. And now that I've got those all hot glued down, I'm just going to make a bow. And I'm going to poke some holes in the top of that. Well, actually, I don't have to. There is already a hole at the top of the carrot where the jute twine was. So all I'm going to do is tie my ribbon like you saw me do on the previous DIY. I'm just going to tie that ribbon to this carrot so I can use it again if I choose to. This one was quick and easy, and it's super cute. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And here it is, DIY number two, all finished. Again, really simple, quick, and cute. I love it. I love the texture. Again, texture and dimension for me. It really just makes me happy. I love that in this one. And that bunny ribbon, how adorable is that? Perfect for this large carrot. You guys, don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you like what you see and you're getting inspiration from these um, Easter DIYs that I've been putting out for you guys, please go ahead and give it a big fat thumbs up. That lets YouTube know you like my content and they share me out. Moving on to DIY number three, I'll be using my Apple Barrel in white. I have my Antique Wax and Hello Hobby. I have one of the little Buffalo Check Bunnies from the Bunny Garland. I've been using those bit by bit. I have one of these wood signs from Dollar Tree and this DIY is a two-parter. So we're going to start out making our sign first that's going to go with the other part of the DIY. I'm taking some of that white paint and I'm just going to give this a rough coat of white paint. I'm now taking my black Sharpie which actually is almost out. It's so dry but I like keeping them and squeezing out every bit of um, Sharpie ink that I can get from it because I want this to look rustic and old and weathered and because that Sharpie is barely writing it's giving me the look I want without me having to distress it so win win we're just going to go around the entire sign around the edges of it and I'm just going to put my bunny where it's going to sit when I hot glue it because I need to make sure 
that I have room to write my wording. So the bunny is just a placeholder until I write what I want to write on the sign. And what I'm writing in my own hand in pencil is welcome to our patch. I just switched up the fonts a little bit. I'm enjoying doing that where I print and then I do a little bit of full calligraphy cursive and just whatever makes me happy. And I am covering the bottom of that with tissue paper or a paper towel because I don't want to smudge it when I write the word welcome at the top. And now I'm going back in with my top notch black paint marker. And I got that from Joanne Fabrics. And we're just going to write over everything that I did in pencil so that we can see it. You guys, if you have not subscribed already to my channel, but you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the Cute and Crafty family. And now that that's done, I am going to add my bunny. So I just want to give him a little bow. So I'm just going to put some jute around the neck. And then I'm going to make a bow and hot glue that to the piece of jute that I put around the neck. Very simple. Just has a lot of parts to it. But it's very simple. And it comes out just amazing. Just so cute. And this, you guys, is for Howard. We were out together... I don't remember where we were. We're everywhere all the time. I don't know where we were, but he saw this carrot wreath and he thought it was just the coolest thing. He really liked it. And so I knew that he would enjoy this one. And I told him, I said, I can make that. I'll make you one. Um, but mine is different, of course, <laughs> because I put a sign on mine that says, welcome to our patch. And the one that we saw wasn't an egg shaped wreath. It was just a round wreath with just greenery and a bunch of carrots. It didn't say anything. I don't even remember if there was a bow on it or not, but he really liked it. So I thought I'd make him one. So here it is. This is going to go on his front door. Now that I've got my bunny hot glued down, I'm going in with a little bit of that Hello Hobby Antique Wax and I'm going to do a dry brush. Very, very little. I just want to make it look weathered, but I don't want a lot of it. You can barely see it, but up close, it's perfect. It is just enough. So this is the second part of this DIY. I have an egg wreath. I have some reindeer moss, various ribbons from Joann's and Dollar Tree. And I also have some burlap from Dollar Tree. I've got some more of that boxwood greenery. A ton of Dollar Tree carrots, the ones in the bag and the ones on the garland, all came from Dollar Tree. And then that like ivy kind of looking greenery, um, that came from Dollar Tree Plus when we were in West Virginia. So I'm just removing all of the carrots from the jute. And I'm taking the greenery out because I don't like it. It looks really cheap. Um, and I'm just going to add some boxwood to it. Be careful um, with the boxwood. Add just a dab of glue. If you add too much, it will melt. It will melt and yeah, you just got a mess. So now that I've got all my boxwood glued into the holes of the carrots after removing that other greenery, I'm just going to take this Dollar Tree burlap and wrap this egg. Now that I've got my egg all wrapped, I am taking that greenery from Dollar Tree Plus and my paddle wire from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to attach it using the wire. I'm going to wire the greenery to the wreath 
because I don't want to use a lot of glue for this one, you guys. I don't want it to be tacky and messy looking, you know? Too much glue can be a bad thing. I know as a crafter, you don't think hot glue is ever too much, but yeah, sometimes it really is. So now I'm going to attach the sign in the same way, just using that paddle wire and the two holes that were already in the sign. And I'm just going to attach it to the wreath. And now I'm just placing my carrots. I'm kind of getting a feel, getting an idea for where I want them to be. This came out so stinking cute and I love it. And is it my favorite of the four that I'm showing you today? Yes, this one is my favorite. Oh my goodness. I have to make another one. I want one for my door too. So we're just going to hot glue those carrots down. And if I had orange paddle wire, you guys, I probably would have wired as many of the carrots that I could to this um, wreath instead of using hot glue. And now I'm just adding little bits of reindeer moss here and there, just wherever it looks like it should be something there, wherever it looks like there might be a little hole, just whatever looks good to my eye. Just little patches of it. So here's the part where we get into making a bow in real time. This is the bow that is going to go on the carrot wreath that we just made. I will be using some of that beautiful bunny ribbon. I have some buffalo check orange and tan ribbon from Dollar Tree. I love this ribbon. I get it in this large um, width, and I also get it in the little thin ribbon when they have that with the pumpkins on it. I absolutely love it. And I get it without the pumpkins. I think they make a small one, a thinner one, just like this orange and tan. Love it. So we're just going to use the carrot ribbon, the bunny ribbon. And the carrot ribbon came from Joann's as well as that bunny ribbon. It came from Joann's last season. And I'm just going to fold it to make one loop per ribbon. I didn't double them up because you're going to end up with three loops anyway on each side because we're using three types of ribbon. So I just measure out what I need and each ribbon goes down in size. You start out with a bigger piece of ribbon, then a smaller piece of ribbon, then a smaller piece of ribbon, and it goes down like that. So as you can see, I'm folding them over and then just stacking them. And the best way to do this is with wired ribbon. You can do it with ribbon that's not wired, but you can't make it stand up the way you want to, like you can with wired ribbon. So I always buy wired ribbon whenever possible. So now I'm just going to make my tails and I'm going to take a piece of each ribbon again, and I'm going to dovetail each one. And then I'm going to stack my loops on top of those stacked dovetails, pinch it in the middle, tie it off, and fluff it up. It is truly just that simple. To do my dovetails, I fold my ribbon in half, and then I fold it over again. And then I make a upward cut. And I have two dovetails the exact same from end to end. Fold it from end to end, fold it over long ways, and cut upward. And you have exactly the same cut on each end. I'm going to do it one more time. And there it is. So we're just going to stack them from longest to shortest. I'm going to measure out my piece of jute that I want to use. And I'm going to try to make sure I have a piece long enough so that this bow can be tied to 
that um, wreath. So now that I've got everything stacked, I'm going to stack my loops on top of my tails. making sure everything is as even as I can get it. And I'm going to pinch it together in the center. And I'll show you, you can use a zip cord or a zip tie if you want. I never do. I love the jute cord and I just use the jute cord. Just going to wrap it around a couple times in the middle and then I'm going to tie it off. And here comes the fun part, fluffing those loops. This is when your bow comes to life. And now we're just going to pull those tails forward. making sure we can see each ribbon. And it's all done. That's as easy as I know how to do it. So now we're going to take it and attach it to our sign. We're just going to tie it on. We'll make a hanger in the back and it's done. Yeah, I stuck my finger right in that hot glue. It's okay. I'm okay. I have asbestos fingers, but yeah. <laughs> Be careful.
Beautiful. Love it. And here is finished DIY number three. This one came out so cute. You guys, if you recreate anything that I've made today, please go over to D's Cute and Crafty DIY Divas, my free Facebook group. Ask to become a member and a man will let you in and you can show off your DIYs over there. I would love to see what you're working on and if you decide to do anything that I've made. Hands down my favorite, guys. Moving on to DIY number four and the last one of this video. Using the same jack-o'-lantern, apple barrel, orange paint. I have some of these little golden eggs from Dollar Tree, reindeer moss from Dollar Tree, greenery flowers that I pulled from my stash, just some leaves that I, I saved because I knew I'd use them for something this one's going to go quick. So all I'm doing is taking the leaves and I'm stacking two sets of leaves together with some hot glue. And then I'm attaching them to the greenery pick that they came on. And I'm only going to use four of these eggs. So I'm going to cut the other two um, away from the, from the egg crate. And we'll save those for something else. You absolutely could have just used all six and then taking the other two and set them on a tiered tray. They are adorable. I was so pleased with how easy this was and how beautiful it came out. So I'm just going to make some carrots, you guys. Quick and easy. Lovely for a tiered tray, as I mentioned. So we're just going to take that greenery pick that we made with the little leaves on it. And we're going to hot glue it inside the hole that's already in the in the egg didn't even have to punch a hole in it it's already provided for us so we're just going to glue that down inside the hole don't use too much hot glue and don't let your glue be super super hot if you can help it if you've got a cool setting use that because you don't want to melt your egg and the best part about this is after you glue that greenery down there into the hole of the egg you can use the greenery to hold on to to paint your egg and I ended up adding some baby powder to this paint. It was super, super runny. It's another old paint that I've had. And I added baby powder to it to thicken it up a little bit. And I got better coverage. So I ended up using two coats of paint per egg. Whereas the first egg I painted, I had to use four coats because it was so thin. So that's why I added the baby powder. So now that they're all painted, I've added a little bit of white and tan twine. I put some reindeer moss inside the egg crate and set my eggs back in the crate. All done and super cute. I love this one. DIY number four, all done. Oh my goodness. It just makes me smile, you guys. I love it. It's so bright and cheery and, and simplistic and cute and all of the things. Here's the final reveal of everything that I've created for you guys today. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you as always for stopping by, for giving me a little bit of your time today. You guys inspire me to create. You inspire me to do better. You inspire me to um, get on here every like four days or so and post a video because I love talking to you. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel about this cute and crafty Easter DIY. There is definitely more to come. Again, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on another cute and crafty DIY with D. Join my Facebook group, D's Cute and Crafty DIY Divas, if you haven't.
As always, you guys, be blessed, stay safe, and until I see you in my next one, craft something beautiful today, you guys. Bye.